can on, see, neither Pete nor I, especially me, is uh, really a proper classical guitar player. Uh, but welcome back to Anderson's TV. Hello. I'm the captain. And I'm Danish Pete. Um, and this, hopefully, is a nice, quick, simple video uh, for anybody looking to buy an affordable classical guitar. Sometimes known as nylon string guitar, classical yeah. guitar, what yeah. would you call it? Flamenco guitar. Well, sometimes. see, they're all different. Or Spanish guitar, I mean. Spanish guitar, they flamenco guitar. Different. Yeah. Personally, for me, the main difference between this kind of guitar and a traditional sort of Western style guitar yeah. is the fact that these are strung with nylon strings yes. rather than steel strings. Now, yeah. I know the purists will point to many other differences to do with woods and the size and, and the, the bracing inside all and that the kind of stuff. The, yeah. But we're not going down that we're not going down that road. Right? We, we are we are talking about I'm learning to play guitar uh, or I'd like to learn to play guitar. And where should I start? Yeah. So. The Spanish guitar or the classical or the nylon string guitar is probably the commonest place to learn how to play a, a guitar, yeah. especially if you're a nipper. Um, a nipper. So a wee nipper. What we've got here from East Coast are five really affordable, but really, really good quality guitars. Yeah, and we absolutely. keep saying this in the East Coast videos. It's our favorite kind of affordable guitar brand. They do electrics, uh, bass guitars, steel string acoustics. There's videos up there. There's links below down here. There you go. Look at that. There's videos so up there. here we are. Look at that. That is beautiful, right? Yeah. Satin finish, half size nylon string guitar from East Coast. Wonderful. Um, this is not a toy. That's my main kind of thing with East Coast is it, it just isn't. It's that next level up yes. from the kind of grocery store acoustic guitar that you might buy. Yeah. So you can get a half size. Yeah, I'll hold that. Or a three quarter size. Yeah. Or into the land of the full size. Yeah. Now, you will all know, you know, if you're buying for a child, you'll all have a, an idea as to whether your child is tall for their age or short for their age or whatever. Um, Typically speaking, I would say sort of five to eight years old, you're yeah. going half size. Yeah. Eight to probably 12 years old, you're going three quarter size. And 12 years old and upwards, I think I would just go full size. Yeah. Unless, of course, you have a child that's particularly tall or short, in which case go up or down accordingly. Yeah. It's also something to do with the, the width of the neck because the, the necks are shallower here or, or sl yep. smaller there so it's easier for a child's hand to reach around now the guitar the, i am the playing is the bog standard uh full size so same basic build quality as uh these two guitars here it's part mm -hmm. of the same series lovely um and it is under 100 pounds i think these are something like don't shoot me here something like 70 pounds 80 pounds 90 pounds something like that yeah um now you can hear straight away, it's a softer. Very soft. I want to I wanna take, put it on like a duvet and just, you know, nestle into it. So that's your typical sound of a nylon string guitar. And it's much, much easier on the fingers, especially for a beginner than a steel string yeah. guitar. Um, you can, you know, strings on a nylon string guitar are, different in the sense that whereas on a steel string guitar you go for a thicker string to get like a bigger louder tone on a nylon string guitar you go for a higher tension string so the higher the tension the more percussive it begins to sound yeah and the lower the tension the softer it is to sound so again typically um a beginner guitar would come strung with some low tension uh, nylon mm -hmm. string guitar strings and and if you ever replace them that's what i'd suggest you do again yeah um what's cool on the east coast range and there's a slight departure here from very traditional nylon string guitars is we've gone with a narrower nut width so yeah. this is this is the nut this white piece here that the strings go over now a normal traditional Spanish classical style guitar would be a wider nut. It's really designed to encourage that very traditional like this, style you know, of playing. You're more like this. Yep, and thumb behind the fretboard, bit of extra sp string spacing. Now that's not how you would traditionally play um, a steel string guitar. And so what we've decided to do on these is spec these with a slightly narrower nut so they're more comfortable to play mm. around here. It doesn't yeah. force you into that very traditional mm. Spanish style. You can still play with your thumb behind the neck if you want to, but it allows you to sort of play with this slightly more comfortable grip 
yeah, here. Absolutely. Um, so really cool feature again, I think, for a beginner. Yeah. So, uh, Pete, I tell you what, would you mind, maestro, please, yeah, going yeah. strumdy, strumdy, strumdy. Um, you wouldn't buy a half size Spanish guitar unless you were small and wanted to learn to play. It does look cool though. Uh, it's I mean, definitely designed for smaller hands. Yeah, so you, can you can see uh, it's, it's, Pete's struggling a little bit. My, my daily uh, sauce is fingers there. So, but that's it. It's not too it's loud. Right. Nice sounding guitar. Yeah. Three quarter size. Yeah. Let's try that. Neck is feels slightly wide on this mm -hmm. one. Yeah, it's a bit more spacing for the fingers. So. It's all about the vibrato on the on these, isn't oh. it? Oh, James Bond. Yeah. So that's again. that. Now I should just say again, uh, uh, if you've watched a few of these East Coast videos, you'll have heard me banging on about this. I got a real beer in my bonnet about kind of sometimes I see guitars for sale in from grocery websites and stuff like that, where, you know, it's Online like, yeah, get, get, your, get your first guitar and it's 40 quid or yeah, whatever yeah, it is yeah. like that. And it, it is just, it's just not good. No, um, it's, it's something with intonation as well, which yeah. a lot of people don't understand. And it, and it doesn't take a lot in terms of, you know, when you go out to the, all these guitars are made in the Far East, as I'm sure you, you uh, would expect. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot when you go out there and go, could you just spend maybe like 20 quid more on this guitar piece yeah. or 30 quid more because like in that uh, th out there that buys you actually quite a lot of additional sort of labor time and material and stuff so i'm not suggesting that if you want to buy a guitar uh, for someone to begin that you need to spend 500 pounds or a thousand pounds or anything like that i'm just going maybe don't spend no, maybe don't buy the the 50 pound one buy the 80 pound one yeah. or maybe if you're buying an electric guitar again don't buy the 80 pound one buy the like 120 pound one because that little extra difference makes a massive, massive difference to the quality. And that's what we've sort of done with East Coast. So there's nothing in the East Coast range that I would sort of, you know, not be happy for my own kids to learn on, or if I was learning that I would, I no. would learn on. So Pete's now got the, this is called the C144. Actually, yeah. I haven't mentioned models, but it's not that. This is the, the C1 half. This is the C1 three quarter, and this is the C1 four, four quarters. So yeah, full, so full size. size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this is with the the laminate top. Mm -hmm. So let's have a little listen. It's interesting listening to Pete play that. I kind of feel like you know, in its truest origins, if you like, of music, the, the, the nylon string guitar is more associated with either classical pieces of music yeah, yeah. or Wonderful flamenco players style. Out there. Beautiful players. Yeah, Paco de Lucia is like, amazing. if you want to see somebody going like off the charts shredding, he's yeah. amazing. And it was uh, shredding or, before shredding was, yeah. before Van um, Halen. Or, or even that sort of bossa nova sort of style yeah, that, that Pete soft, was just sort of playing. Chord. And I And I get it because I think sometimes, you, you know, my kids would look at this kind of guitar and go that's not the style of music you know i don't want to play I want to that i want to yeah, I want to rock out and all yeah. that kind of stuff and i want distortion or and i get it and there's nothing wrong with starting on an electric guitar but i do kind of feel that this nylon string has a place for learning especially with young players because you know mm -hmm. they're, they're not expensive to buy they're typically the, the cheapest of the three kinds of guitar that you could buy they absolutely don't shred your fingers because the strings are so so soft and easy yeah, to push soft. down yeah you don't need an amplifier all that kind of stuff and all the chord shapes are the same you know there's no sense that you know a g on a classical no, guitar same, yeah, yeah. is the same as a yeah. g on an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar um but i do sometimes kind of feel 
this is a bit like a gateway guitar. So you buy it for your child and you have to, to sort of get to the point where you go, okay, not you, yet, you, not, yet. not yet, not yet, you know, <laughs> but you know, the idea is that it's, you know, your next logical step is then to move on to uh, an electric guitar or something, yeah. assuming that's your vibe, you know, I mean, I, again, I don't, I don't want to sound like the, you know, I'm trying to tell you what music you should like or don't like, you know, no, if, you, a, if you like classical great music or flamenco, then it's 100% a great learning is perfect. place to learn. I it's really all. like these. I kind of yeah, like, no, I, I kind of feel as well, that you know when Eric Clapton did all that kind of unplugged stuff especially the sort of tears and so that was all done on a on a nylon string guitar yeah. so you, it does um, and you play translate. blues on it as well didn't you? yeah it's it's not that it's not that you can or can't play certain styles of music it's just it all takes on a certain vibe so yeah. I, you know i mean i kind of there are sometimes particularly i think if i'm not playing with a plectrum and i just want to play with fingers see that's that's naughty um, naughty with a plectrum i know on a, on i kind of feel guitar, like you having a nice nylon string or just it's a really soft love it's a lovely tone yeah I've got my anyway. mum's old Oscar Teller from 1971. Wow. Yeah, which I learned to play on as well. So, so look, I, I kind of didn't Massive. mean to sort of transgress into another territory there, but I was just sort of... So anyway, so, so Pete just played on the, um, the laminate top guitar. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, laminates and stuff, let me just quickly explain. Laminates, your the, kitchen. This piece of wood here <laughs> is called the top. Uh, it's the piece of wood that a lot of people think when you're... That, that noise you're just hearing strings vibrating what's happening is the strings attached to the body via the, the the saddle and the bridge here this is causing the whole top to vibrate and then the body is acting like a speaker cabinet if you like and it's projecting the sound out through the sound hole so so how the top is constructed oh. and the internal bracing and all that kind of stuff is really important to the tone of the guitar laminate tops are the most widely used most affordable way to build a guitar yeah. so almost everything that you'll see at the sort of you know the entry level point of acoustic guitar will be a laminate top it's a it's structurally perfectly fine yeah. uh it's just a little flat and dead sounding compared yeah, to it's got using, a limit it's yeah. got the, it's got that that um the what do you call it when you sound you can get dynamics dynamics that's mm. what dynamics we're getting a bit deep for a like, you know, learn to play acoustic guitar yeah. video here. But yeah, so when you move on to solid pieces of wood, and again, you know, you can spend thousands and thousands of pounds on an acoustic if you want to, and all to do with just um, how finely crafted is all the internal bracing. The, yeah, the trick I think with a top is to go, how do I get maximum yeah. dynamics and power and movement out of it, but still, um, create a piece of wood that it can structurally cope with all the force of the strings trying to yeah, you, know, yeah. you don't want a top to you know basically break it's not a anyway, fan brace and it goes like that so it looks like a fan but that that way i see i think so let's have but, a little listen to pete playing now what you're hopefully going to hear now um is that will be a little louder a little bit more open a little bit dynamic more dynamic than this one I don't know, it's very difficult to tell where we're sitting because well, I'm, I'm pointing away. Yeah, as it's, well. from where I'm sitting, it's a little louder. Yeah, for sure. It's a little louder. Um, it's lo uh, place and, lovely. They, and they always say as well, with solid wood tops, they're the ones that you hear all these stories. They take a little bit of time to break in, and the longer you have the guitar, the more the, the top becomes more resonant and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, again, they we, should, we should you know bear in mind that we're we're still at the very very affordable end of the guitar market with that yeah. so but anyway nice guitar yeah and then finally my finally. Story, please to play us out yes. same guitar again but with a built-in pickup system yeah and luckily this has got a tuner as well yeah. on it look because uh, <laughs> that's so it's got the same system as the other ones if you didn't watch that video you can go up there and watch that video we did on the, uh, steel, the steel strings, strings. Yeah. and like and subscribe while you're down there but it's got the tune on it it's got your bass middle and treble it's got your tuner on and off which mutes it's got a volume and it's got the phase in case you run into any uh unwanted um feedback feedbacks that's the look, <laughs> word i was looking for the look i was working for I don't the know. look i was working for easy for you to say easy for me to say this little east coast amp is a dedicated 25 watt acoustic guitar amplifier um, as well as being able to plug your guitar into it like pete's doing now there's a microphone input as well 
and it's a brilliant little busking amplifier because you can um, run it off batteries, sing and play guitar through it all simultaneously. Got a bit of reverb built in, a little bit of chorus built in. It's 25 watts and And it sounds says, like this. beautiful thank you so much thank maestro you. so there you go that's Great the east top. coast range only five guitars in the range um there's no left-handed versions of these because the idea on a, a basic guitar is that it's symmetrical enough for you to just to be able to turn the strings around string it the other way around obviously on the uh, electro acoustic one that becomes a bit of a problem yeah. because then the then you um, won't be able to see that yeah you're upside down <laughs> but yeah the idea on on our uh, unlike steel string guitars where they're not entirely symmetrical on here yeah it doesn't really matter which way around you string it might be an idea just to get a, uh, put it into someone just to yeah, turn get a, the, take turn it to the, a yeah. tech to do it. But yeah. yeah, I'm afraid there is no official left-handed version of these out the box. But I there like you go. It. Good. Again, I mean, this is the most expensive one, about 170 with all the stuff in yeah. the solid top. But otherwise, the, the important thing is, is the, the three ones that I'm sure we'll sell most of Absolutely. are all under 100 pounds. Yes. So there you are with the, gig, with the gig bags. With the gig bag. Yep. Okay. So you can right. take it to lessons. And they and you know and millions of children will do, and that's good because yes, music good. will ultimately save the world, um, but only if you get your kids to play it. Really hope so. Yes. Right. See you later, everybody. Bye bye.